What's up, Cancer? This is Soul and Cancer. Uh, this is your week ahead. Uh, energies are going to start from December 21st and end December 27th, 2020. The messages will be for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Cancer Rising signs. Cancer, I hope all is well. I do want to wish all my fellow Cancerians a very Merry Christmas and a very safe one at that. Uh, to all of you, I hope it's a uh, good time for you, for you and your family, your friends, or whatever um, you're choosing to do. Cancer, this week I'm using the Arcanum uh, Tarot deck once more uh, to deliver your messages. Um, what's different this week is all the cards are in the upright position. Uh, there were only like maybe three or four last week that were in the reverse, and I just I went through the deck this week before I started recording the videos. Uh, and turned all the cards in the upright position. So let's uh, get underway here without any further ado. And uh, we're going to start off with that shadow energy for uh, you, Cancer. And uh, we're going to begin with our shadow is going to begin with the page of, uh, excuse me, the page of swords. I start to say swords. Wow. Okay, so the page of swords is here. And of course, it's a minor. So it may or may not play out along with the. Uh, other energies that will be revealed for you, Cancer. But this is the truth card. Speaking your truth, owning your truth, having those heart-to-heart -heart talks, you know, concerning yourself or having those heart-to-heart -heart talks with um, others uh, as well. This is um, new conversation. So you may uh, be finding yourself in uh, new conversations with uh, different people or new people coming into your life. Um, having conversations in general, you know, but they're going to be new. The pages always are about something new or something about to begin. Um, with this, though, the page of swords, it's about uh, also taking action. So it may be a new action that you, uh, um, you know, pursue or if it's a new conversation, like I had mentioned before, or a new decision that could also come uh, through with the energies of the page of swords. So the page of swords uh, is really, you know, trying to clear up some uh, energies here. So uncertainty and maybe clearing up some sort of uncertainty or confusions around a new conversation or a new situation. Uh, if you have to, you know, sign off on anything, your signature is required cancer. I always say with this card here, it always represents you having to uh, carefully observe what you're signing off on or at least carefully uh reviewing what you you know before you sign off okay this is uh media this uh, page of swords actually represents media and news in that um respect as well so that could be uh any types of news coming in for you or anything related to our media internet you know could be uh, social media and whatnot. Page of Swords represents Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. That is our shadow. Our focus for the week is, yep, the Knight of Swords. So it's about some of us having to make uh, decisions, new decisions, uh, new conversations. The Knight of Swords is always an action card, always determined um, to step forward. So this is your focus, and this is what our energy is going to be for some of us, not all of us, uh, and taking action um, right from the start of the week. Okay, being decisive and usually because it's in the upright position is already uh, something that may have been, you know, um, planned or set in stone for you. And now you're going to move um, forward with it this week. Maybe you didn't have all the energies uh, to make a decision or make a move. Uh, connected to anything, Cancer. This is an open general reading, so it could be your work. It could be, uh, you know, related to the holidays. It could be related to, you know, almost anything that you can fill in the blank uh, with. Okay, so take an action, but there's a lot of determination. So you're ready to strike, and whatever it is that you're ready to strike uh, for or against, it's happening this week. Uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius represents that uh, Knight of Swords. What's coming up next is the Knight Nine of Pentacles, and this is actually a pretty good card because. Uh, for some of you, uh, being that it is the second card here, might be uh, work-related matters. Um, maybe having to decide about a job that's coming up in terms of an offer for you. Uh, that Nine of Pentacles will represent that. This is uh, rewarding yourself, treating yourself uh, for some sort of work that you may have done. Whether it was, you know, some sort of work established in the workplace environment or if it was something 
you know, that you worked hard on outside of the workplace environment. So that could be your relationships, that could be your family, that could be projects that maybe you were working on. Maybe it was a business, um, you know, some cancers probably are doing, you know, some sort of uh, small business or home business or running some sort of business. Uh, but this here is about rewarding yourself uh, for the efforts that you have put into that situation and that energy. Also, too, it could be that, well, we are in, you know, within the holidays. So it could be that you're digging into some sort of uh, savings, investments, and maybe purchasing uh, holiday gifts or whatnot, or just purchasing something for yourself because you are deserving of that energy. And that's what the Nine of Pentacles represents. You are being rewarded or paying yourself back, again, Cancer, for anything that you worked diligently diligently at or worked hard for. Now it's time for you to sit back, kick up your feet and um, reap the benefits of all of that energy that you have put into a situation. Nine of Pentacles is also an option card. So it could be um, options coming in, multiple options coming in uh, for us this upcoming week. It could be related to, uh, you know, the Nine of Pentacles could be related to that pay raise. It could be still someone getting a job, uh, someone getting a bonus. Um, normally I get big ticket purchases with the nine of pentacles. So maybe you're going to go all out if you can afford to go all out and do something, uh, and treat yourself, then, you know, by all means, go ahead and do it. You deserve it. Okay. It's a card of also, um, you know, about security, stability, and long-term, uh, energies, which could be investments or, um, Anything else uh, that you can think of? Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Yeah, see, it's about uh, decisions, taking action, and money for us this upcoming week. This is my uh, three. No, I'm sorry. This is the Five of Pentacles. I almost called it the Three of Pentacles because I saw the three right there. It is actually the Five of Pentacles. So this is usually the worry card. This is usually... Um, you know, always concerned about your money or your finances. Maybe this is the reason why uh, the Nine of Pentacles is showing up here. It follows the uh, Nine of Pentacles. It mirrors the Knight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords. So taking action, maybe to clear up some sort of financial uh, situation that is centered around you. Now, this could be, um, even though it's a five and it's usually indicative of a loss, all fives in, you know, any suit is indicated of some sort of loss. But... Think in terms of the five of pentacles, oftentimes that I spoke of in the past, that it could be charitable uh, giving as well, giving to the needy, the ones who are feeling left out and, and feeling cold, maybe because they um, don't have uh, the necessary funds or means to uh, share, you know, the holiday season like everybody else. So that could be uh, part of that energy that's coming out of the five of pentacles. I don't want you to um, you know, remotely worry too much about um, if there are those, you know, those cancers that are really concerned about your work, uh, your income or your uh, finances and possibly your work and whatnot. It's a temporary energy, um, you know, and if it does express itself, it's not going to be something that sticks around too long. Also, too, this energy comes through where uh, it may not be something that's affecting you, but it could be that um, you're the receptor of someone being cold or treating you uh, cold or giving you the show colder treatment. So I always pick that energy up here with the five of pentacles. But because it's, you know, the holiday season, I'm going to lean towards more that it's about you uh, sharing your um, energies because it follows the nine of pentacles. So maybe you want to be given to some charitable um uh, situations, you know, making donations. It could be the Salvation Army, it can be just dropping, um, you know, tithes in the church services or uh, helping the uh, homeless. Whatever that energy may be is in the form of charitable uh, donations or giving. Okay, Five of Pentacles again, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. We have the Judgment card now here. Um, Cancer, this is our first major arcana. So the judgment card is what's hidden in the dark comes to the light. It's a self-awareness type of energy. Gabriel is the archangel here tooting his horn. And I always say when the uh, judgment card shows up, as well as the hierophant, there is a energy of us, you know, being spiritually watched over and, you know, spiritually being protected. Okay, so, you know, go through the week confidently knowing that you're being watched over uh, from, you know, the other realm and um, 
they're looking out after you and making sure that, you know, um, well, you know, they're making sure that you are. Okay, so let me just get all right. I'm getting stumped here because it's not about them making sure that you're okay. It's just about um, it could be almost anything related to spiritual awareness or spiritual awakening. Um, and maybe just this particular week because it is the holidays and and I apologize for stomping here because I'm trying to gather my thoughts here. Now, and every time I pick up this card, I get something and I feel something totally different. So, but because it is the holidays cancer, it could be a spiritual awakening. So maybe, um, there's something that's going on, uh, with you connected to the holidays that, uh, I mentioned in a, another video too. I think when the uh, judgment card showed up here is about, it, there's a spiritual kind of, uh, feeling that overtakes us and, and whatnot. It, it seems like it makes us more connected to the spiritual side. And um, maybe because of the five of pentacles showing up here that for those cancerians who are into charitable giving, that might be also that spiritual connection that is coming out here from the judgment card. Judgment means judgment. So anything that, you know, you got going on this upcoming week, cancer is uh, to make sure that you're not, you know, being too judgmental on yourself being too harsh on yourself, criticizing yourself, and we definitely don't want to pass the judgment on to other people, okay? Some things you may discover about yourself that you didn't know before, that's always the energy of the judgment card. Some things that you may discover about, um, you know, other people, it could be positive or negative in this case that you didn't know about, okay? But it's, you know, a card of spiritual being watched over and protection, all right? So again, I apologize for that stump and thought processes there, Cancer, okay? Ace of Pentacles is following that uh, judgment card. So this is the job. This is the investment. This is the start of a business. Uh, it's an infinite number, uh, you know, meaning that it could be any amount of money, but this is an offering. So it's an offering of some sort of type or of energy coming towards us, okay? It's just, I feel it's the job. I feel it's a job and underneath the Knight of uh, Swords, just like I had just said about the Nine of Pentacles, it's about making some sort of decisions. Now, this could be a career change for some of you. Someone might be thinking about, you know, career change, job change, and someone obtaining a job, starting a new job. And even though we're at the end of the year, there is still people who are, you know, getting gainfully employed. This is about um investments savings and remember i said to, you know if you are going to buy something for yourself you're pulling out savings and whatnot but the money is there if you have it 401 uh, retirement it could be you know if you even apply for any uh loans or anything like that the money is there it's available uh so yeah the infinite number an infinite amount, I should say, with the Ace of Pentacles. So it could be any amount of money that is coming in. But that's an offer, offer that's coming your way. And then, you know, this also, too, represents security, stability, and um, long-term investment. So that might be the start of all of those things that I had just mentioned. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo represent that uh, Ace of Pentacles. The second major arcana you have in this spread here, Cancer, is the Hermit. And this is the card where we sort of like detach ourselves on a temporary basis to, um, you know, spend some uh, moments alone, quiet time. I don't like to say solitude because uh, that to me just seems something totally different for this energy. The Hermit represents Virgo and the other Earth energies, Taurus and Capricorn, but doing some introspection. So maybe just simple meditation. And uh, normally when you uh, spend quiet times alone um, and you're not, um, you know, being bothered with work details, it could be a family situation, or it could be almost anything. This is just an opportunity for you to grab a loan. And, you know, whether you're doing uh, introspection on a subtle or um, deep level cancer, you always seem, um, with this energy, always seem to come out with whatever uh, perspective that you need to come out with and moving forward. Meaning that, 
okay, I just need to take a step back. I need to just, you know, um, leave this energy alone for a minute. That could be work. It could be a relationship. That could be a family situation. And then, you know, the swords here that are showing up here represent the thinking, the mental, you know, not necessarily mental challenges, but your think thinking, and it could be critical thinking. Uh, so, yeah, something that you might have to pull yourself or withdraw into um, to evaluate. And then, you know, once you... Um, Spend that time alone, then you come out with the um, perspective that you need to or moving forward. Okay, so this is a neutral card for me. It's nothing bad. And like I said before, it could be just for some Cancerians who are really good at meditating. I wish I were. Uh, and can just sit still and quiet your mind. Um, people can do that. I, I don't know how. I try every day and it just doesn't work for me. It's just too much information going through, flowing through my mind. But anyway, What's following the Hermit card and moving forward here, Cancer, is the Three of Cups. So this is all in um, forms of the celebration of Christmas for some of you. This is spending quality time with significant others. Could be friends, a uh, small group of people. Uh, could be celebrating not only Christmas, but someone's birthday or someone's anniversary. This Three of Cups represents our energies, uh, Pisces and Scorpio. So there's a need to celebrate. There's some drinking involved. If you are going to be drinking cancer, drink responsibly, okay? Yep, there's uh, drinking. There's a party going on here. It could be a small get-together or a small party. Um somebody celebrating last card that i have for you uh, i just said all the cards were in the upright position so you know in between these readings here sometimes i'll you know put the cards back in the wrong position but our uh last card here is the major arcana the death card so the death card is uh i like the death card because the death card can mean so many things uh it mirrors the ace of pentacles so it could be um for some of you uh, and I like the fact that it shows up here as well because it could be putting an end to some sort of financial concerns or worries that you have. I'm linking that with the Five of Pentacles. It could be, you know, what I had said before about someone considering a job change or a total, you know, career change. That's the ending of that energy as well. Uh, Scorpio represents this energy. Our energy is tied up into this as well as Pisces. It's always about having to release uh, that energy that is no longer resonating uh, for us for the highest good, okay? And if you're able to release that energy cancer, then, you know, normally good things open up for you. The promise of that energy is the the white flower that's right there on the sword, okay? So that's the new growth or the new birth, rebirth or whatever you want to call it. Um, the getting rid of old things that are no longer resonating with you could be material things like clothes that you can no longer wear. Again, I go back here to the Five of Pentacles. It could be donating to charity and, you know, clothes may be involved. It could be, you know, anything that is, um, you know, seen in the form of clutter or, you know, things that have just accumulated in your house, your car, your uh, office space, if you're still able to work through the office, um, clear up that energy. Normally when you clear up uh, the energy or rid yourself of something that needs to be released and let go, it actually does overall um, make you feel good energetically. So whatever it is, cancer, and, and, and again, it could be that um, not only someone changes jobs, changes careers, this uh, in all fairness, the judgment, I'm, I'm sorry, the death card could still mean putting an end to uh, relationships as well. So it follows the Three of Cups. Three of Cups represents uh, relationships, but this is a very pleasant card here. But I'm just giving you a connection of what could possibly um, be going on as we're closing out the end of the year. Um, if you have made resolutions from the top of the year, you may have stuck to them. And maybe those uh, things have... Uh, played out and, and, and you know, thankfully um, worked out for you. If not, then the death card could be, you know, also saying, well, if those resolutions that you made at the top of the year didn't pan out at all. OK, so now we're giving you another opportunity to come up with something new. And then the new year would be the fresh resolutions that you come up uh, with for yourself whether it's related to relationships, job changes, career changes, um, anything, the spiritual uh, stuff that I'm picking up here from the judgment, 
card. And if this page of swords plays out, you know, you know, speaking your truths, you know, having those talks with yourself, Cancer, about what it is that you want to do or improve in your life and moving forward, then, you know, you have those discussions with yourself. Remember, I said it's new conversations. So it could be new conversations with yourself. It could be new conversations with other people. Um, but conversations could be had uh, this upcoming week for sure. And I think that um, just to link that one message that I feel that is new, could be new resolutions, new conversations uh, pertaining to self about what it is that you want to do uh, better or improve going into 2021. 2020 has been a difficult year from, you know, for everybody. It doesn't matter what sign you are. Everybody has been impacted by the energy of 2020. So it's almost like a welcome relief uh, for you in this reading that the death card shows up at the very last end because that would be like, okay, it's time to clear away all of those things that, you know, didn't work out for you and um, you need to cut those ties and then new energy opens up. All right. So that's what I have for you this upcoming week, Cancer. Uh, I hope it makes sense. And Cancer, just to let you know, this is, uh, I got one more video to do before I, I go on my YouTube hiatus. Uh, and that would be the energies for the week of uh, December 28th, ending January 3rd. But when I do that video, I will... I think I will just, you know, I'll be on camera, but I'll still probably do the uh, spreads like this here. But I just want to, you know, go ahead and make my little speech there about, um, you know, my hiatus and, and my intent on moving forward in uh, 2020. And this almost makes sense for me too. the death card in terms of what I'm trying, um, you know, to release. Now, this having to release the channel is not something that I would say that is not resonating uh, with me. It has resonated with me, but it's something that um, needs to change. Okay. Something that I'm, uh, you know, within something that I'm experiencing within. And it really started like in the uh, summer months where I, I just kept getting this energy where I, I need to go in a different direction. So I'm almost glad that this death card has shown up here just for us. Um, because it could relate to, it re definitely relates to me having to give up something. Um, but in my case, it's not something that is not resonating with me because these, you know, uh, videos in the channel does resonate with me, but it's just something that, um, needs to change or I want to, you know, make some sort of changes in my life and moving forward, uh, and trying to, um, you know, dig into other areas of interest that I've been holding back on. All right, so cancer with that. That's what I have for you. Whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, uh, I encourage you to do it safely. Please stay strong, stay positive, and uh, Merry Christmas once again. Uh, I hope it's a safe one and a happy one for you. Until I talk to you next week, love and light. Bye.